Hi, uh, lecture three, that is engineering graphics module three section of solids. Let's move on to a new example related to with a session plane, which is vertical in nature. Just check out this figure, this particular slide I have showed in my previous lecture, that is lecture two, wherein the case is uh, related with a plane, which is vertical and the features of this plane is it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane and it is parallel to the vertical plane. Check out this example. A tetrahedron of 100 mm edge is lying on HP on one of its faces with an edge of that face perpendicular to VP. It is cut by a session plane parallel to VP and passing through a point 10 mm in front of the axis. Draw the sectional front view. What is the shape of the section? Mark the dimensions of the sides of the session obtained. The object that is being referred in the question is a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron is an object which has four sides and those all the four sides are in fact equilateral triangles. Okay. Now, this particular tetrahedron is positioned in such a way that it is resting on one of its triangular faces. Suppose if it is resting on this triangular face, again it is mentioned that since it is resting with one of the triangular face, one edge of that face or side is in fact perpendicular to VP. As you can see in this figure, the object is kept in such a way when you are looking from the top, this is the top position. So when you're looking from the top, this object is resting with its triangular face. Then its one edge is perpendicular to the vertical plane. If suppose there is a vertical plane over here and if this is the horizontal plane, then the object is resting on horizontal plane with one edge perpendicular to VP. Okay, now let's look from the top. You will be getting it as a equilateral triangle of side 100 mm angle 60 degree when you are looking from the front portion you will see it as a triangle again but this triangle is not an equilateral triangle okay so you got the top view as well as a front view so let's cut started with the diagram First of all, go for an reference line that is x, y reference line. Mark x and y, then go for the top view and the top view should be marked as P, Q and R as it's given uh, within this P, Q and R. Now, after marking the top view, you have to project or you have to bisect the angles QPR as well as PQR. Then you have to find the point O that is the mid of this particular tetrahedron midpoint. From that midpoint you have to project a straight line directly onto or above the XY reference line. Similarly you have to project lines from P as well as Q. Okay. After projecting, you have to use compass, take the measurement 100 mm and place the needle over here and cut an arc on this line such a way that this measurement will be 100 mm. You can check it out. That is, this measurement must, measurement must be 100 mm and you have to join these two points also. After which... Next is related with a sessional plane, a plane will be there which will be cutting the top view in such a way that the plane is 10 mm away from the center of the tetrahedron. When you are using a sessional plane to cut the object, you will be certainly getting some points like A, B and C over there on the object. Please make sure that you project that A B and C upward. When you are projecting B, you have to, since this is O and this is R side, that is O dash and R dash, look on to O dash and R dash, you have to project a line from B towards O dash and R dash. 
because it is cutting O and R. That is why you have to project the B on to O dash and R dash. Okay, after projecting it, you have to name these points as this as A dash, this as B dash and this as C dash. Then join A dash and B dash. Okay. After joining A dash and B dash, you have to hatch the true shape that will be obtained over here. Okay. By this, the question gets completed. That is, you are getting the true shape of the cut portion. Again, within the question, it has been asked, what is the shape of the section? As you could see that the shape of the section is, in fact, an triangle. That is, the shape of the cut section is, in fact, a triangle. And then again, it's asked, what is the length of the sides so in order to know the length of the sides please make sure that after drawing or after getting the true shape please measure a c a dash c dash b dash c dash and a dash b dash the value of a dash and b dash will be 80 the value of a dash and c dash will be 70 and the value of b dash and c dash will again be 70 this particular side slide in fact shows you the exact solution of the given problem by which the question gets completed. See you in the next lecture.